Hi everyone, this is Vikas and welcome back to the second tutorial of using Browser Stack Cloud for your test execution. In the first tutorial, we learned about automating the web application on the desktop browser with the help of cloud. In this tutorial, we will learn how you can automate how we can automate the uh, mobile browser with the help of browser stack so the advantage of using browser stack for a mobile is you don't have to you know uh, you don't need a physical device you don't need to do any settings on your device let's say enabling developer option and those things uh, you will get that device automatically on the cloud now for example let's say if you wanted to test it on automatically test on iPhone device, you don't need to buy an iPhone. So that's the best part of it. Uh, okay, uh, I wanted to tell you one thing before we start. Browser stack currently do not support a real device automation for now. Like uh, Sauce Lab supports real device automation with the help of test object company or uh, Amazon also supports with the help of test grid. Software also supports, IBM also supports mobile automation with the software, but right now browser stack is not supporting. But we will go with the simulator um, for mobile automation. All right, so let's start with a class for mobile automation. So sample mobile test suit. Okay, let's write a test case. Test. Google search, a simple test I wanted to choose. As we discussed in the last video, uh, there are two fundamental things for any remote execution. It might be a Selenium grid, it might be on remote computer, or it might be on a SOC. So these two things are, one is desired capabilities and second is the server URL. So let's create object of desired capabilities or I will copy paste the code from my previous example. So I created a desired capabilities object here and as well as the URL object. So I'm just copy pasting the same code again. Uh, the platform uh, I will be using is the Mac platform. So platform.mac. The browser I will be using is iPhone and there is one more capability that you need to pass is which device you want. So I'm just copy pasting that stuff from the website. So I want a iPhone 5 device for automation. So these three things are important. Other uh, second part is the URL. So I'm keeping that user ID, password and the cloud browserstack.com slash wd slash hub. The URL uh, might throw a checked exception, so I'm just um, adding a throws declaration here. So, okay, uh, I added mal from URL exception. The browser name I gave is iPhone because, you know, I just specified that use the default browser of iPhone, which is most of the time Safari. But if you are testing with Sauce Lab or you are testing with locally with the help of APM, then uh, you know you can actually use browser name as a Chrome or any other browser. Okay, in this case it is Safari. All right, so string, string URL, okay. Um, so it's time to create the driver instance. I will again copying the same line from my previous example. Okay, let's open the web page driver.get http colon slash slash um, www.google.com and in Google driver. Dot, um, let's say you know I wanted to type sorry driver. Dot find element I wanted to type Vikas Tange uh, in the search so I will just say that by dot name the text box is always having name as the queue in Google page so type because tongue or maybe I will add a blog 
all right so once the typing is done i will also call submit method on that so it will like you know simulate enter keys and that form will be sub submitted so i will see, i should be able to see a report optionally uh, you can have some checkpoints like assert or something you know assert on url or the page title or some element is displayed or not just to confirm whether the search result is displayed but for now i will just leave as it is all right so this is the simplest test case i have okay let's give a try to run it on a browser stack so okay let's go to the browser stack dashboard and see okay one session is running the test case is running on iphone 5 with ios 6 uh, this ios 6 is the default thing uh, but uh, you can you know actually pass the version number which specific ios you want but I'm sure this is a trial account, so you may not get many options. Uh, you know, you, you may not get all the options, what they have. Okay, so let's wait for some time um, to finish this test execution, then we'll play the video. Okay, I can see the test execution is done. Failures are zero, skips are zero. Uh, let's go to the dashboard and see if it is updated. Okay, it is still loading the report. I might need to reload the dashboard. So let's wait for some time so that you know the video will be available here with the test status. For mobile, it takes a little bit longer as compared to the web. It's my observation. Okay, the video is available now, so I can see the video is here. So let's play with the full screen mode. The total video duration is 3 1.34 seconds uh, as you can see there is ios simulator on a mac machine with a google search uh, you know there so first the google page is open then because Sange blog and it is just hitting the enter key but there is one option which is shown looking for a result in english that you might have to handle in automation script okay uh, all right so i didn't close my driver that is the reason you know uh, by default it will wait for some uh, maximum timeout and then it will close your test session if i would have called driver.quit then it might be very fast test execution all right so yep so this is all it is uh, there is one more thing text logs and visual logs uh, to produce visual logs you know you can actually see the runtime snapshots for every step but for that you need to add a capability so i'm just adding that capability caps dot set capability this is my name of capability and the value should be true if you want to test it on android okay go and check the device list available okay uh, you will need to change the device name and there you have to say android all right but right now I will just keep as it is. Let's run it. Okay, uh, one more thing. I will quit my driver so that report will be loaded, uh, you know, faster. So driver dot quit. Quit. Let's run it. Okay, test is running. Uh, there I can see one session active. Okay, in the visual log, I should be able to see the live sc screenshots with the steps. So first step is starting browser. Oh, the test execution is done. It is so fast because just, you know, opening hitting, uh, you know, Vikas Tange in search is easy, right? All right, the video is available. So I can play that video now. So that video is just four seconds duration as you can see the test execution was so fast here okay i will play it again see the browser is open google is open vikas tange search enter is done and next option you see is the looking for a uh, result in english because by default that locale might be different all right okay so that's it uh, that's all about how you can use a mobile device for with soft lab thank you very much